you'll find me racing the sun. Hey guys, welcome back to Patrick Plays. Today we are going to be playing Race the Sun. Now this is a fun, uh, well, Race the Sun game. Uh, I'll show you guys in a sec. Um, let's see, should I show off anything? Probably not. You can configure your ship a bit. Uh, I'll show you guys that later, actually. So let's go ahead and just get into the gameplay uh, and go ahead. The best way to uh, demo this game is to show you guys exactly, uh, you know, the gameplay. <laughs> so let's go ahead and uh, show you some gameplay. So here's the game. Uh, Race the Sun, beautiful game. And uh, your objective is to race the sun because you are a uh, you are a ship that's powered by solar power. And in order to keep running, you have to stay out of these shadows. Because if you go into a shadow for a little bit, let me see if I can find a shadow for you guys. Uh, probably not right now. Yeah, once I come to a mountain, I'll show you guys. But uh, you have to collect these points that this uh, bird is dropping. And yeah, that's pretty much it. There's a couple different power-ups in the game that you uh, can pick up. Like, I just picked up a jump power-up, so if I go ahead and push A, I'm using a controller, you would go ahead and jump into the air like that, which is a lot of fun. And you can, uh, I mean, there's you, I have a magnet power-up, which I'll show you guys in a little bit. But that was the first region. Uh, I got perfect because I didn't get hit. And I'll show you guys in a little bit, probably when I smash into something, that um, this game isn't like a one hit or one fail. It is you, um, oh god, okay. See, I'm under a shadow right now, but it didn't matter because I was boosting. But this game, you can hit something, you can tap up against it, and you won't die. So I'll hit this. See that? You just lose a bit, a little bit of uh, points, and then you can keep going. So I like that about this game, that it's not one of those permadeath racing games that, you know, are so popular. It actually gives you a point, you know, you have to go collect everything, and you have to stay and race the sun. The game is limited by how far you can get without smashing into something and also how fast you get there because you have to, you know, travel faster than the sun, not than the speed of light. That, that's not possible. But you get uh, score multipliers for every single one of these, uh, I guess, these triangles that you pick up. Are they pyramids? Sorry, not triangles. They're three-dimensional, Petra. Come on. But, yeah, that's, I mean, that's pretty much the game there. I'm going to play for a little bit longer for you guys probably until I hit something, which hopefully won't be soon. Also, if you go all the way to the right and then left like that, or left then right, you do a barrel roll. And there's uh, there's challenges in this game where you get more points so you can level up faster that uh, if you do 20 barrel rolls in one run, which is a lot harder than it sounds, you get uh, extra bonus points. So I just hit a building right there. But you see these shadows are getting casted longer and longer because we're getting closer and closer to sunset, which makes the game get more and more difficult. Also, I can't see anything right now, really. Uh, that's <laughs> It's a little bit difficult to see when the sun's glaring in front of you. But eventually the sun runs out, and that's when the game stops, pretty much. And that's, you know, that's why you're grabbing all these yellow power-ups to make sure that you can get there on time. And you can also jump up to get some extra sunlight. But that is limited, because now I don't have any more jumps, because I, I ran out of power-ups. There's a jump right there. Oh, did I grab it? Yes, I did. Okay, cool. So if we ever run out of power, I could use that real quick. And you got to look out for these blimps, and you got to keep racing, and you got to make sure that you're chasing the sun. Ah! Hey, this is my first time actually making it to Region 4. That's cool. Uh, let's collect all these things that the birdie drops. Hello, birdie. Give me all the uh, triangle pyramid thingies. And then he'll give me a boost or something. Yep. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. And I still can't really... Oh, that's cool. We actually have the sun a lot higher than it was in the last region. But I think the sun goes down fast. What the hell was that? What the... Whoa. Okay. I did not know that that could happen. Like I said, I've never made it to this region before. That was essentially like a solar flare. I don't know what exactly that was. Some assholes up there shooting bombs at me. That's not very nice. Oh god, I'm behind a building. Okay. There, we can race the sun. Oh god, grab these. No! Oh, damn. <laughs> and that's when the game ends. When you smash horribly into something and your ship turns into dust. Uh, so you can see on the right there that we have a bunch of challenges that we haven't done yet. So you could do a barrel roll 20 times in one run. Reach 15 times multiplier. Travel distance of 80,000. Uh, I obviously haven't done that yet. But I'll go ahead and retry this one more time, and then I'll show you guys the customization. Because I don't think I unlocked any more other than the magnet, so it's kind of pointless. Because I don't think I can unequip it, because it's, uh, it's my only option right now to have. You can get up there if I wouldn't have screwed up. You can use... I mean, the cool thing about this game is that... I mean, obviously, it looks fantastic, and it has a really good uh, soundtrack. That reminds me a lot of Bit Trip Runner, actually. Which gives me, like, post-traumatic stress disorder if you guys have been a fan of my channel for long enough. Uh, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, uh, what was I gonna say? Yeah, if you go all the way to the right, like, let's say I, I am not, I don't want to go down the straight path. There's actually multiple different ways to go through certain, ow, 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 um, through different parts of the map. I just lost a lot of time, but I'm gonna demo this for you guys. Um, so I went through the middle last time, and there were a bunch of different traps. 
but you can actually go through the right over here or you can go over to the left or you can just you know if you really want to you could just keep going to the right and there's going to be parts of the map all the way over there this obviously isn't very good for your score multiplier because i'm not grabbing any of the things that the bird is dropping but if you want to go a completely different path you could go ahead and arc right as far as you want and then you'll be in a different part of the region than you were before i think they might just you know recenter you it looks like they did sort of recenter me, but sometimes if you don't go too far, then you will take a different path, which is really cool because it adds a lot of replayability. I haven't actually seen this part before, so maybe I did go pretty far to the right. Oh, can we make it? Oh, God, okay. This game is also very stressful, but it, it's it's stressful in a good way because the only... It, it doesn't last very long. You can be playing the game for about two, three minutes, maybe. I'm sure this video is only like three or four minutes long yet. And it's just a really short pick-me-up game. It's not something that you have to like dedicate hundreds and hundreds of hours into. Unless you want to be very good, then I'm sure you have to put in a lot of hours. And I'll also recommend that you use a controller just because it gives you a little bit more maneuverability. You can uh, arc a little bit less than you want to instead of the on-off left and right. This, uh, this will make it a ton easier because I was doing pretty bad at this before when I started playing it and then I used a controller and then I actually made it to different regions. So I would recommend if you're bad like me to use, oh god I'm going to run into a blimp, uh, a controller because it's better and I'm trying to not freak out because I'm running into everything. Okay, uh, oh god that's falling. There's just so much chaos in this game and it's it's good chaos. It's a lot of fun. Uh, there's everything's falling. Oh god, stop falling! Ah, okay. <laughs> Damn, what a hard game. But then I got a challenge over there, see? So I'm going up a level, and the world portal key. Fly to a world portal key to briefly escape this world and visit another. Oh, that's cool. That's pretty cool, actually. All right, let's go over to configure ship real quick. And see, I have a magnet here. I can unequip the magnet if I want to, but I'll equip that, and then uh, I'll get my mouse off the middle of the screen. I hope that hasn't been there the whole time. I apologize if it has been. Uh, but we'll go ahead and play one more round. I know I said one more a couple times, but this game is a ton of fun. Death, inevitable, yet unexpected. Uh, that is very true. We're going to go ahead and play one more round. Hopefully I won't get smashed. I just want to see if that portal thing is kind of cool. It sounds kind of cool. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can find that anywhere. Where are we going to find a portal? Nobody knows. I guess we... <laughs> hopefully we find it or else I'll feel bad. I'll go ahead and grab those just because I want to get more points. We also don't have the challenge of getting 15 times multiplier. So maybe we can get that this run. And that would be fantastic. So let's see if we can do that. Do, 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 do. The music does get a little repetitive, but... Not in a bad way. I think each region has its own music. So it, obviously if you start playing only region one over and over and over again, you're going to notice that it's looping. Um, but, you know, that's just <laughs> that's just the way the game has to be. And you don't stay in the regions very long anyways, so the fact that they have different soundtracks is nice. Um, I'll go thread through this tunnel. The bad thing about this tunnel is that you can see that there's shade in it, which means that I might run out. If I wasn't going fast enough, if I crashed into the sides, then I wouldn't have made it through that tunnel because you run out of solar power pretty fast. It's like the second you're out of solar power, you're just like, ah, I can't breathe. I'm like, I'm sorry, ship. Hang on, hold on just a little bit longer. I forgot to mention that every time you grab one of those yellow boosts, that the sun actually goes up because you uh, travel faster. Therefore, you're wrapping around this tiny world faster or whatever. But uh, the sun, you get more daylight essentially that way. But it also adds a level of difficulty because you start traveling faster, so you gotta dodge stuff faster. It's just a really well-balanced gameplay. I mean, I really I really like this game. I, I just picked it up from Humble Bundle because they were offering it for like, I can't remember what it was. It was a free game, so you could have offered like a dollar and gotten it, but I paid 340 to get the average, whatever. Uh, it's still not a lot of money out of my pocket. And you know, a really good game. Um, ah, crap. Oh, I, I did have a jump. Okay, that was a reflex that I hit A. I was like, oh no, if only I had a jump. But luckily, my reflex is kicked in, which is fantastic. And things start moving like that. Ah, and it's horrible, but it's a good game. Oh, I'm almost at 15, guys. Okay, maybe if I grab all these cubes, I'll get 15. And then we'll get a challenge completed. That'll be fantastic. Do 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 do, 15. Ba -da -da -ba. <laughs> okay, let's see if we can find a world portal. I don't know where those are, but we did do our challenge. Oh God, wait, what? Okay, I don't. I think I might have kicked off of that ramp wrong or something. I don't know. I haven't encountered any bugs in this game yet. I don't think that was a bug. I think that was my fault. I just lost my 15 times multiplier, if you noticed. Um, oh my god. I wonder if it'll count for me. It probably won't. Oh, it says reach 15 multiplier. That's cool. Awesome. Look at that. Use the jump ability 10 times. Score 100,000 points in a round. And uh, I think there's actually user-created levels. Yeah. So they had a contest a while ago if people could create like a really good map. Um, but I don't think I have any of those maps. I think, can I click this one over on the left? Nope, sorry. <laughs> I crashed the game. 
<laughs> Hopefully I didn't crash the game. Yeah, it looks like I crashed the game. That actually just ended up taking me to a uh, another <laughs> another uh, thing in a browser. But it looks like they, there are leaderboards for this game, and I believe you can get more um, if you get farther. Or I don't know actually how you get those, but I guess you can figure out. They also have the, the Steam Workshop in here if you got this on Steam. Um, and that will allow you to download more. So let's see if I can go ahead and visit the workshop real quick. Uh, it doesn't look like I've downloaded any. Uh, if I browse the workshop, it'll close out of here. So I guess that'll be it then. A lot of replayability in this game, guys. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead, like, subscribe, favorite, do whatever you want. Uh, yeah, so that's it. So thank you very much, guys. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, see you next time. Have fun and goodbye. Here's Patrick. It's so happy. It's a very happy oh. Happy for murder. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat. <laughs> Got that guy. Ah. All right. This time for sure. All right. Boop, 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 boop. Oh. Woo yeah, that's right. Run. You better run. Boop. Stop it. Boop. Oh, it's horrible. Horrible. Can't believe it crashed. <laughs> Ow, my throat.